spoiler alert, I can't even believe I'm giving away my secrets. <laughs> I'm literally gonna tell you three things that you can do to make yourself 10 times more employable for your next finance role. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited to have you here with me today. So as I'm sure you know, my name is Rachel. I am a speaker, an author, a business owner, but most importantly for today, I am an accountant. I run the Instagram platform, Accountant She, where I get asked lots of questions. And the most frequently asked question I get at the moment is, how can I land my first role in finance with no experience? So here I am today answering off how I, as someone that recruits accountants, and I recruit accountants with no experience, I'm telling you what makes your CV stand out, what you can do to get hired. So the first thing that I want to talk about is why you? So firstly, you are watching a YouTube video on how to land your first job in accounting with no experience. So passion, excitement, and enthusiasm for the role are things that you already have. Like you're already putting in the time and the energy because you're here watching me. So I really, really just want to express today that as someone who is speaking from experience and someone who hires accountants, you have the thing that I can't teach. So I, as an employer, I, as a business owner, and I, as an accountant, can teach someone to be good at accounts. I can teach someone the accounting rules, the tax rules, how to complete a VAT return. I can teach that stuff. But you have the one thing that I can't teach I can't teach someone to be passionate. I can't teach them to be excited about this industry. So don't forget throughout this entire process that you have the one thing that can't be taught. You have something super special to offer an employer and don't forget it. Okay, so now I've given you the little why you pep talk. I just wanna move on to your CV. So this really um, is going to have to be a really big focus for you and it's something that I imagine if you don't have experience you're probably dreading or you might feel a little bit embarrassed about your CV because you don't have experience. So I'm just going to run through some tips that will help you A feel more confident and B pull that CV together in a way that is really really attractive for employers. <coughs> Keep it short, sharp and punchy. I'm talking absolutely no more than two pages. Like two pages is your hard line. As short as possible makes it so much easier to read and so much more engaging for the reader. So hard rule, no more than two pages. Next up is to be creative. You have to remember that the person who is reviewing and seeing your CV is seeing a lot of CVs. So, <laughs> so Find a way to make it memorable. We've seen some people get really creative and actually make a CV on Canva rather than Word. Um, get creative, make sure the person that's viewing your CV remembers you. So then moving on to the body of your CV, um, the general and like the normal structure of a CV generally goes like personal details at the top. Then there's like a little bio about you then there's your work experience and then there's your qualifications and then a little close off and actually i want you to flip that on its head when you're a candidate looking for your first role in finance the chances are you're probably studying towards an accounting diploma so probably aat level two or level three so for that employer your experience is going to say more and be more attractive than your work experience Put your qualifications in front of your experience. We always want to read from like order of relevance, from most relevant through to the least relevant. So if your qualifications are actually more relevant than your work experience, put it at the top. 
So if you're somebody that does loads of stuff in their free time, is trying to get as much as possible, is using the hacks that I'm about to teach you in the next section, if you're using these hacks, they're gonna make you far more employable than telling somebody what experience you have that actually isn't relevant to this role. Put your qualifications ahead of your experience if it is more relevant to the role and don't be scared to do that. If you are someone who maybe has five different roles to pull experience from, as an employer, realistically, I'm only going to be wanting to see information from maybe your last three jobs because anything further back than that really isn't going to be relevant into what you can bring into the role today. That's just a little rule of thumb. Don't go broader than the last three jobs. Otherwise, it's a lot to read and it can be a bit overwhelming. So let's take an example. Let's take someone who perhaps has a customer service background um, or has done customer service jobs as their most recent role. And now, while starting a diploma, they're now looking to move over into a finance based role. I don't want to see a big, long paragraph about what your customer service job entailed like what your day-to-day -day tasks were. I really, really just want a headline of your job title, the dates that you worked there, and maybe four bullet points of the most relevant to this role that you can bring skills that you learned. So within customer service, there are a thousand different things that you could list on a CV. But realistically, if you were processing sales orders and invoices, I wanna know about that. If you were managing and reconciling stock, I want to know about that. If you were resolving customers' queries that were also to do with invoices and debtors, I want to know about that. And if you were managing any staff, I also want to know about that. So rather than a really big long paragraph, I want you to tell me these are the top skills that you're looking for that I've taken from this role. So with your three most recent jobs, I want you to pull out for this specific role what you have taken and what you can apply to the role. I don't want big long paragraphs telling me like what your day to day duties were if they're not relevant for this role. OK, so we've had my pep talk about why you. We've covered off your CV and how to make sure you stand out. Next up, I can't even believe I'm giving away my secrets. <laughs> I'm literally going to tell you three things that you can do to make yourself 10 times more employable for your next finance role. Okay, so when we think about the fact that some employers don't want to hire people with no experience, we need to think about why that is. Like why as an employer will I not want to hire someone with no experience? And the answer to that is you can't hit the ground running. Maybe they think you're gonna require a lot of training. Maybe they think that you won't understand the softwares. So, spoiler alert you can get certified on the three top accounting softwares in the UK for free. <laughs> so I'm going to put the links in the bio below, but basically you can become a zero certified advisor, a QuickBooks advisor and complete your online SAGE training for free. For free. Fun. And again, we've already discussed the fact that we're going to have a bio about you, then your qualifications and then your work experience. So within that qualification section, you can say I've done AAT level two, AAT level three. I'm a SAGE advisor, a zero advisor and a QuickBooks advisor. That is you telling your employer I can hit the ground running. I do understand the software and I've put the hours in to make myself attractive to you. So these are like the trade secrets. <laughs> so those three I cannot express enough. This is literally giving you work experience within those training modules for those softwares. You can practice on demo companies. You can practice start to finish the role that you're going to be undertaking so that if you are asked questions in interview, you know the answers. So from the employer's perspective, my concern, if you don't have experience, is that I'm going to have to invest a lot of time in you. If you have literally already anticipated that, put the work in and can now evidence that, you've immediately removed my concern. So, <laughs> just to summarise what we've covered today, the most important thing, and I really do believe this is the most important thing, is that you remember that you have something that a lot of other people don't have, and that is passion. 
The accounting industry, I'm sure I literally say this in every video, the accounting industry is truly incredible and if you are passionate and you can bring that to a role, I am going to want to hire you and other people will feel the same too. So that's the one thing that you have that they can't teach you is passion. Next up, we've got the CV. So your job within the CV is to translate your passion and translate how enthusiastic you are and how employable you are within that document. And we're looking at maximum two pages for the three most recent roles and your qualifications. And then finally, the biggest hack <laughs> is to become zero certified, QuickBooks certified and Sage certified. We are going to eliminate any apprehensions that an employer has about whether or not you can do the role with little input from me. Thank you so much for uh, spending the time with me today and sharing a video with me. Um, if you enjoyed it, I would love to hear from you. And if you have some more frequently asked questions that you would love, uh, love me to answer, I would love to hear about them in the comments below. I would also love to see you on my Instagram page, which is accountant underscore she. So have a wonderful day, apply for those jobs. Remember that you have something that other people don't. Have a great day.